Hey all, Matt Hepworth here, and you've probably run into the same thing that's kind of driven me crazy with Pro Tools. It's the only DAW that you can't selectively enable software monitoring. It's all or nothing using a setting in Pro Tools called low latency monitoring right here. And what that does is it allows you to monitor through your Apollo console instead of with a high latency situation through Pro Tools based on your buffer. So what I'm going to show you is how we can take advantage of console and its low latency workflow for everything except the tracks that we can get away with a slightly higher latency on and use software processing instead. And for the most part, things like guitars, as long as you're under 10 milliseconds, which kind of translates to 128 buffer or smaller, um, you know, 128, 64, 32. And if you're working at 48, a buffer of 128 is kind of a good balance where you are not overly taxing your CPU, but it's also a low enough latency where you can use a plug-in for a guitar, like an amp sim, because as long as you're under 10 milliseconds of latency, it's really not that noticeable because just like an amp in a room, you're typically playing a few feet away and you're getting that latency. So because all tracking through software induces latency, I don't recommend this for things like vocals where you need to keep your latency as low as possible, but for something where you can get away with a little bit more latency, like a guitar sim, for example, 128 buffer is actually gonna work pretty well at 48 kilohertz. You're gonna stay well under the 10 milliseconds where you start to feel things being funny on guitar, but you're still gonna have the benefit of tracking your instruments that are the most critical to keep low latency through console and all the console settings, but we're actually gonna be able to still use the software processing in Pro Tools for monitoring guitar. So here's a little guitar lick through console, no effects. So simple lick, super dry, we don't love it. And sure, we can come in and we can use UAD plugins to get the sound that we want, but maybe there's an IR that you're just completely sold on. And so you're willing to turn off the recording chain on an amp, put in an impulse response so it doesn't sound like fuzz. Or we could use our own amp sim entirely. Let me show you how we're gonna achieve all these things. So first, we're gonna switch over to Pro Tools. And I've got an audio track here. We're just gonna name it Guitar. And in Pro Tools, because low latency monitoring is enabled, I'm 100% reliant on console to give me that low latency monitoring. So if I mute the channel in console, the sound is gonna go away. And it doesn't matter what I do in Pro Tools, I'm not gonna hear that sound because low latency monitoring's enabled. So here's where the trick comes in. In Pro Tools, we're gonna go to Preferences, Mixing, and we're gonna make sure that this box gets checked. Allow sends to persist during low latency monitoring. What that's gonna do is give us a capability that we didn't have before. So I'm gonna mute this track I'm going to go to a bus, and I'm just going to get a guitar bus going here. I'm going to option click so it zeroes it out. And now I'm going to make a new aux input, and it's going to be mono. And I'm going to name this guitar in. Now there's one critical thing that I have to do. I need to enable this on pre-fader so that regardless of whether this is muted, sound is passing through here. So then I just need to give this bus assignment the same assignment as that send that I created. You guys probably know all about these aux sends and everything, but very simple. So now I've got the guitar part playing and I can see it in console. We can hear it there, but we want to hear it in Pro Tools. Magic. So there it is. So now I can put in an impulse response.
and I'm ready to go. So I can record with that, I can even punch in. So now if I play back, it's all there, and I can take that IR off or mute it. Super simple. But let's say I have an amp sim that I really like that I want to use instead. So I'll get that out of there, back to the raw sound. still coming through Pro Tools as our control. I'm just going to put an amp sim here. Pull up my blues preset. And let's check that out. Yeah, sounds killer. And this is totally non-destructive. So there's my raw track. There's my process track. So in my playback engine, I'm at 128 samples, perfectly usable latency of well under 10 milliseconds, and a good guitar tracking experience. So I hope you find this video helpful. As always, thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time.